In this tutorial, I'm basically um, just going to tell you how you can put together some of the billboard smoke techniques I was showing before and make it kind of cool. So, this um, example uses three particle systems one with a BB tilt rotating clockwise, and the other one counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, and then one going straight up the middle with no BB tilt or rotation. And to do that, basically you have you have your first that has no BB tilt or has a negative BB tilt, and then your second one has a positive BB tilt, and then the one in the middle no BB tilt at all. So yeah and the node setup for that that's basically the same as it was before only for the middle um, I used the lava node setup I had before and added it to the middle. So I rendered that in um, two layers. Um, a big problem with um, with billboard smoke is if the camera is rotating around it, it doesn't look very three dimensional. It still really um, looks pretty flat and fake. But you can fake this using um, using spheres instead of billboards, and you can fake volumetrics on the sphere. So there's a nice fall off effect on the sides. So it still looks like what it would with the billboards, only you can't see the edges. And the way you do that is you have the sphere blend texture, and that is mapped to the normal and to sphere because it is a sphere blend texture and you want to disable X and Y because usually it's X and Y but we don't care about X and Y we only care about the Z axis and the Z axis is just basically the local axis from where the from where the camera is looking and you can just map that, map that to the alpha and no RGB and then the rest is just an alpha texture and color texture. So basically the same thing, only using spheres. And you can get a nice um, dust storm effect. You can try to make some more three-dimensional smoke type effects. That's a really bad node setup, so don't think you can't make anything better than that. So, yeah. And Another problem with billboards, or the standard setup of billboard smoke, is when you have the smoke coming, um, or whatever it is, coming towards the towards the camera. Um, when it hits the camera, it has this flash of disappearing, and that looks very annoying if you notice it. You can actually fake. Um, you can actually fix this problem with a material node, and that means the closer it gets to the camera, its alpha will go lower and lower and lower until it's all the way transparent. The way you do that is activate the nodes for your smoke, um, for your smoke te um, material, and then you want to add a camera data node and the view distance you want to map that using the mapping node and the view distance um, we're basically just we only we care about is the size or the distance between our object and the camera which would be our local Z 
because if you move the camera on the local z-axis that's where it's pointing so and then if you mix that the closer it gets the closer it'll get to the first value black and then if you multiply that and black will cancel out white and then it'll turn black if it's if the mapping is black so that that'll make the alpha totally transparent if the camera gets close and you can you can test that out um the size for me it was negative 1.4 that might work for you if you were following the setup i used in the other the other tutorials but yeah what it looks like. So that's all. If you have any questions or if you make anything totally amazing, I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.